I was telling Christian about this game a couple weeks ago. I, I was playing it on a Skype call, actually, just, like, giving it, like, a demo. Um, <laughs> and I said, you know, I gotta play this with you on the show. It's true, he did do this. I, I was, it was originally gonna be, like, my show, like, as a side episode, but, like, this time. on Price start. We're playing The Uncle Who Works for Nintendo. And, and Christian knows nothing about it besides the fact that it makes a noise at some point. Did I press it? <coughs> you are 11 years old. What is your best friend's name? Um, I didn't have one. You didn't? I was a lonely child. I'm going to go with somebody that uh, I know go, here. We, we, we don't, go with Andrew yeah, because... We know a guy named We know Andrew. a guy named Andrew. <laughs> okay. Your so, best friend Andrew has invited you to a sleepover at his house this weekend. You've been friends with you've been friends since first grade, so asking your mom is basically only a formality. So you get to pick which red choice you want. And based on what choices you get a different ending, obviously. Best friend. I'm obviously gonna ask my mom. You should. You've never confirmed this, but you suspect the babysitter may charge extra when there are two kids. You sometimes feel like staying somewhere else is on- the only way you can help out. Gross. Staying somewhere else is the only way I can help. Is this the only thing I could choose? Yeah. Alright. Sometimes you only get one choice. That's dumb. I hate this game. Uh, so it's only... This isn't Mass Effect. It's not Mass... It's, it'll, it'll say, so your choice... It, the the choice. Uh, the asking your mom is just a formality. Alright. Just a formality. There you go. Oh. So on Friday night, you've, you're home for only a few hours. Long enough to pack, get in a fight with your younger sister... Pack some more and watch some TV. At 6 sharp, you're standing in the sidewalk outside Andrew's house while your mom idles in her car nearby. She leans out the window to you. You behave yourself, okay? She says, as always. I'll be at work, but if anything happens, you call me. Okay, mom. I'll pick you up tomorrow or three. She says this again, as usual. But then she pauses, looking up at the sky, which has been overcast throughout the day. Oh. If you play outside, she adds, be careful. It's probably going to rain. I actually kind of like the rain. As do I. It's it's my favorite, second favorite weather occurrence phenomenon. What's your favorite? Snow. Really? Yeah. Huh. I, I'm being from New Jersey, like, I we guess, don't yeah. we don't get the same, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we do, we get awful snow sometimes, but I just, I really like the snow. Dude. I have a window in my room that leaks when it rains all the time. That is amazing. It's the worst. I love it. No! (laughs) It's bad! I love it. You're gonna kiss your mom? You should... Do you love your mom? I love my mom. Okay, Of course I do. After you... (laughs) After you part, your mom drives down the street, disappearing around the corner. You turn back to Andrew's house. The lights inside are growing warmly. Glowing warmly. You can see Andrew waving at you from his bedroom on the second floor. I'm gonna head inside. Man, he's a creepy ass kid watching you come to his fucking house. Alright. It's raining. I can tell. What? It is 6 p.m. Whoa! You read. Andrew's mom meets you just inside. Hello! She says. Dinner will be ready in a few minutes, but you can drop your stuff off in the den! You and Andrew are camping out there tonight! So, cool, okay, just smile indifferently. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. What would you do? I, w- I would make friends. W- what? I would always make friends. I, cool. Renegade option is not the option. You drop your sleeping and overnight bags in the corner of the den and then pause to look around. Behind the couch, a grandfather clock is ticking softly. Through a set of patio doors on the far side of the room, you can see the sky is just as gray as it was when your mom left. Framed pictures line the walls, and over the dark fireplace hangs a mysterious, a monstrous pair of antlers from a buck that Andrew's dad shot years ago. That's kind of creepy. And of course there's a big screen TV. Yeah, there's the biggest screen TV. Makes It makes you uncomfortable how much nicer Andrew's house is than yours. Anyway. You drop your sleeping and overnight bags in the corner of the den, and then pause to take a look around. Behind the couch... Wait a minute. We just said that. Andrew entered the room while you weren't paying attention, and he now stands in the doorway, smiling expectantly. Are you ready for dinner? Yeah. He asks. Never. Wait, did you say yes? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. 
Dinner passes quickly. Tonight's meal is spaghetti and meatballs, one of Andrew's favorite meals. <laughs> spaghetti. Paschetti. As his mother points out, uh, while piling a helping on your plate. Oh. Andrew's father cracks cracks open a bear and jovially interrogates <laughs> you about how much trouble you and Andrew are getting into at school. Oh, jeez. You want to click that beer? Wanna, you want to click that beer? I don't know. I Give it a click. Why? Give it a click. Okay. Wait, that, that wasn't a beer at all. That's that's a glass of lemonade. Oh, Why right. would you even think it was a beer? Andrew's father doesn't drink alcohol. You're quite certain of that fact now that you've remembered it. Okay. Well... Whatever. Okay. So, like, depending on some things, it changes. Huh. Dessert is heaping bowls of ice cream drizzled in chocolate sauce. Hey. You can't even finish yours. Ooh. You go along now, says Andrew's mom, smiling the side of the table. We'll clean up in here. Let's go get the TV ready, says Jeez. Andrew. The two of you leave the dining room and head upstairs. I guess that's the only thing I can do. Whoa. Andrew's room is immense. Oh. You stay in the den because the TV is larger there, but there's a sizable one here, oh. flush with the wall opposite of the full-size bed. You will take down the 64 down first, says Andrew, heading towards his TV and opening the entertainment center cabinet. It's his prerogative, of course. He gets to choose what you play first, usually. But as Andrew begins unlocking the, unhooking the cords of the N64 from the TV... You catch sight of other things he has in there. What are you talking about? Dildos. <gasps> All the major stuff. An old SNES, a PlayStation, a Dreamcast. A Dreamcast? A Dreamcast. I've never actually played on a Dreamcast. Oh, it's delightful. Is it? It's it's fine. All right. So there's some games that are really good on it. All right. Power Stone. Uh, but there's some other things, too. Things you don't really recognize. <laughs> a large black box with green highlights, a smaller purple one, a strange white and yellow tower with what look like gloves resting on hooks on either side, a compact white cone. What are those? Those, those look, look cool. cool. Andrew looks into the clutter's cabinet. Oh, yeah, he says. They're pretty cool. I can't show you to them, though. They're still secret. I promised my uncle. Oh, jeez. And of course, you suddenly remember his uncle. The uncle who works for, for Nintendo. Nintendo. In the corner, the grandfather clock is still ticking softly. Through a nearby set of patio doors, you can see it's getting quite dark. Framed pictures line the walls. Andrew is parked in front of the TV playing something on the N64. What do you do? What is up with the framed pictures? Take a look. You walk around the perimeter of the den, inspecting the pictures idly. Most of them are from, uh, family portraits from years past. Oh, Andrew cradled lovingly between his mother and father, or uh. any one of the three on their own. A happy, tidy family. Hmm. Well, you don't know anything about his uncle. How about, how about you look for something about that? Yeah, I want to know more about him. You don't find any. Not, not a one. Huh. The only pictures here are of Andrew and his parents. You don't know why that makes you feel uneasy. Time passes. Oh. So, same choices. Huh. I don't want to check out the grandfather clock. I want to... Why not? Hmm. Why not? You should exhaust... I'm going to watch Andrew play. Sure. What are you going to play? Play this one. Basically. Right. The game is kind of spooky. Your character has a flashlight and is running around some underground tunnels. Occasionally you hear what sounds like digging. Hmm. You don't like it. I don't. Andrew is watching you. He seems to be amused at how uncomfortable you are. Yeah. You don't say anything, so you don't look weak. You play for a while, even though there doesn't seem to be an ending. All right. The clock chimes. You're in the den. Oh. What else do you do? Please take me to the bathroom. Go ahead. You head to the bathroom <laughs> down the hall from the den. There's a shower, a linen closet, and a toilet. What's in the shower? What's in the toilet? You don't have to go right now. Are you done here? Am I? What's in the shower? <laughs> the shower is pristinely clean. Are you done here? What's in the linen closet? It's a linen closet filled with large, fluffy towels and washcloths. You're not sure why you looked in there. What's in the shower? <laughs> it's pristinely clean. Okay, what's in the toilet? You don't have to go right now. Okay, what's in the toilet? You don't have to go right now. Alright, what's in the linen closet? You're not sure why you looked in there. Oh. Are you finished? Yeah. Good. Oh. Go <laughs> head back to the den. You spent an hour in the bathroom. 
Usually that's what happens. <laughs> Usually. Check the clock. Okay. It's 8.30. It's 8.30. It's not bad. What's, uh... Um, I'm gonna think about Andrew's uncle. Because that's began, usually what I do. It began with Mew. Mew. You didn't believe him at first, but when Andrew came to school one day, and he told you he had finally caught Mew. Prove it, you said. So he pulled out his Game Boy and showed you. There it was. Mew. Mew. I remember Mew. Yeah. Do you remember Mew? No. You got a Mew. The 151st I, Pokemon, yeah. available only to players at promotional events, <laughs> somehow unlocked on Andrew's game. It's really strong. It KOs every enemy in one hit. Wow. Which isn't isn't exactly true. No. But it is actually quite strong. It, it's, it's, it's in varied. those games it was. Yes. Andrew demonstrated at this, at this claim at recess when you and some other friends linked Game Boys to do battle. Remember when they had link cables? God. Those were fucking messes. I actually didn't have a Game Boy back then. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. You were the first one <laughs> down. No one else got a single hit on Andrew's Mew. You asked Andrew how Andrew managed to get it. No one else. No one else? In a few days, everyone had quit playing Pokemon at recess. The allure had faded. Huh. Wow. How did Andrew manage to get it? Oh, my uncle got a job on Nintendo, said oh, Andrew. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're walking home together past one of the construction crews. <laughs> Andrew still lived next door to you at the time. Wait, oh. at the time? Well, this couldn't have been too long ago. When did Andrew move? There was something nice about being neighbors. Construction crews? Construction crews? There had been a storm not too long ago. Okay. Trees were down all over town. Buildings had collapsed. You were standing up at an intersection with Andrew as a truck rumbled by, loaded up with ragged tree trunks. What a bad storm. Dude, what's this background? Um, it's Mew. Really? No. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he also got me this new Game Boy, he said, pulling it out of his pocket. He hadn't noticed it earlier, but Andrew had a sleek new Game Boy color. Until today, he had one of the old ones, a big gray brick like yours. This one's special edition. Isn't it cool? It, well, yeah. Do you agree? You snap out of your reflections. Oh. The clock chimes. You're in the den. Okay. Andrew's mother bustles into the room, holding a large ceramic bowl filled with popcorn under her arm. How are you kids doing? She asks. Good, says Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that what your friends sound like? Yes. I don't have any friends. His Come eyes on. not moving from the television. I hope you're having fun, says Andrew's mom. Here's some popcorn, extra butter. She places it on the floor by Andrew. I assume that's what your mom sounds like. Uh, if my mom sounded like that, I would not be born. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, logically speaking. Like, that would just not happen. Almost immediately, Andrew is shoveling popcorn into his mouth. Oh, good. Yeah, he just eats it all, the wow. fucker. Meanwhile, he's, he's a big asshole. He's that he's that kid, you know? He is that he's, kid. He's that guy. My he's, uncle! He's, he's that guy, you know, just wearing a freaking suit at the bar. It's like, it's George Armani, actually, actually, my dad knows him. Enough with that. Meanwhile, his mother smiles first at him and then back at you. There's sodas in the kitchen if you get thirsty, she says, and some pizza from the other night if Ooh, you get hungry. I like pizza. Do you like pizza? What do you like on pizza? Dude, I, I should make, put that. I make a great pizza. Do you? Yeah. I have to. I'm Italian. Some. I know, but that doesn't mean you make good pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of pizza do you, do you make? Really good pizza. What do you like on top of it? Uh, bacon. Uh, thank you. By the way, you didn't say thank you. Oh. To your mom. I didn't? You said thank you, but you oh, didn't yeah, say Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. She looks at Andrew. Your father has gone to bed. I'll be there soon myself. Wink. I want Wink. you two to keep it quiet, all right? Yes, Mom. And before I forget, your uncle called. Oh. He suddenly has some business in here, here in town tomorrow. He's driving in early. He'll be here around midnight. Huh. For the first time, Andrew stops playing his game, stops eating popcorn, and turns to look at his mother. Okay, he says. I want you two to welcome him in. He'll be very tired and very hungry. Offer him something to eat before he goes to bed. Okay, Mom. Good night, kids. And with that, she's gone. In the corner, the grandfather clock is ticking softly. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Oh, it's nine. Okay. Uh, so, you got a new option? Uh, you got your own Mew. Oh, did I? You got your own Mew, eventually. 
I want a game friend, shark. A game shark, which you borrowed one day. You spent the entire night unlocking every Pokemon you couldn't obtain in your copy of that game or hadn't traded yet for, including, including Mew. Yeah, obviously. It didn't one-hit KO most enemies. It was incredibly weak, and you shamefully cheated the game further to make him strong enough. Hmm. It didn't look different from Andrew's. Look different. Your Mew is small, even cute, huh. standing there with his round, cheerful eyes. Hmm. But when Andrews had wiped out everyone's at school, it looked completely different. Compact, snarling, fierce. You asked him why. What? He said. It had been here, in the den. Oh, that thing? It had been a while since anyone talked about Pokemon. Well, my uncle got me a special edition Mew, first of all, he said, smirking a little, but not looking away from the PlayStation game he was playing. I guess, yeah. That's why mine looked different. Second of all, mine can one-hit KO, because it's the real Mew. What? You asked what he meant by that. Just what I said, Andrew replied. Hmm. You cheated and got a fake Mew, so of course there'd be problems, glitches, and junk. What an asshole. You felt your cheeks redden, but not me. I got the real Mew. And only me. My brother was so jealous. So jealous. Andrew's brother. What about him? Why does remembering that comment make you feel uneasy? You snap out of your reflections. Okay. Well, you know, thinking about it. Full of popcorn. Full of popcorn. It was butterly and delicious. Yeah. Delicious. I want to grab another handful. It's butterly and delicious. Yeah. Talk to Andrew, I guess. You want to check out those frame pictures? Okay. Uh, Something's blah. wrong here. Whoa. Where's Andrew's brother? Wait, what? You know he has a brother. You know it. Except, except he's not here in any of the pictures. And you... He was older, not much, one or two years, a, what the a jerk sometime, but not any more of a jerk than you are to your little sister. When it snowed, your mom would pay him to shovel the sidewalk outside your house. He lived next door. His name... his name was... I can't remember his name. Where's your brother tonight, Andrew? I don't have a brother, he says, but I remember him. Oh, I guess, you begin. Andrew's still looking at you. I was just jealous of you for being an only child for a second. Well, is that what you were picking? Okay, you picked the other one that I didn't read. There's a long moment of uncomfortable silence, broken only by distant thunder, the Nintendo, and the clock ticking. Hmm. You're such a weirdo, says Andrew, and turns back to the Nintendo. The subject, Wait. it seems, has been dropped. The Nintendo? Time passes. Yes. Clock chimes. You're in the den. It's been. It begins raining outside. You want to call your mom? Do you? Do you want? It's a new option. You can go to the kitchen. You can go to the bathroom. You can watch Andrew play. You can ask about your his uncle. I want to ask about his uncle. Why is your uncle coming? Your uncle stays with you when he visits. Why is your uncle coming? Yeah. Business. But I thought he worked for the Nintendo. What's okay? He, he does. does. It's, he's really important there. Hmm. Does Nintendo have a lot of business here? Why else would my <laughs> uncle be coming? He says if you ask the dumbest question in the world. Well, it's cool. I'll finally get to meet him. Yeah, I think you'll like him. Oh, I guess I'll drop it. Just then. drop it. Yeah. Silence. I'll Are you on. uncomfortable? Yeah, a little bit. It's like hanging out with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Passing through the empty dining room, you enter the kitchen where the phone sits on the counter. Yeah, call mom or really, go back? Yeah, no, I'll call my mom. You dial your mom's work number and wait. She picks up after three rings. The rule of three. The rule of three. Hi, mom. I want to go home. Things are really weird here. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Honey, I'm busy. You shouldn't be calling me at work whenever you want. Is everything okay? I just want to talk, I guess. Your mom sighs. Listen, I'm busy. Don't call me unless it's important. Sorry. Just don't call me again unless it's an emergency, okay? With that, she hangs up. I'm gonna head back. You head back to the den. Oof. 
Mm. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna grab some popcorn. More, <laughs> it's buttery and delicious. It's yeah. the best popcorn you've it? ever had. It's 10 30. You wanna close? watch him play? It's getting close to midnight. You wanna watch him play? Yeah. You don't feel like playing games or watching anyone play games. Hmm. Do you wanna go to the kitchen? I haven't talked to Andrew. What do you like to talk about? Bad as the last one. Do you think this storm will be as bad as the one before? I don't like the sound of wind. You remember the storm yeah, we had that tore down all yeah, the trees? I don't know what you're talking about, says Andrew. You don't remember? Remember what? Actually, I forgot until tonight. It was important. I'm sure I would have remembered it. Hmm. I'll ask about the games. You try to strike up a conversation, but Andrew's too involved in the game and seems to be ignoring you. You simply watch him play in silence. An hour passes. Clock chimes. You are in the den. What time is it? Eleven. It's eleven. Wait, what time is it? Eleven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Shit. Okay. Well, the only option you haven't done so far is go to the kitchen. I guess not. I'll go to the kitchen. Passing through the empty dining room, you enter the kitchen, which is also deserted right now. You want to go to the fridge? Yeah. You can get soda, some cold pizza, milk, a water pitcher. Cold pizza, maybe? You grab the snack and exit the kitchen. Oh, okay. You go back to the den. Back to the den. Okay. Okay. So I guess you have your snack. I guess I do. Um... You regret that kitchen trip earlier. Now you have to go to the bathroom. I guess I'll go to the bathroom. Shower, linen closet, and toilet. I gotta use the toilet first. You realize Whoa. there's something wrong with the toilet. The water in the bowl looks solid, like glass. When you attempt to turn the handle, nothing happens, but the toilet emits the sound of flushing anyway. You suddenly feel like not having to go anymore. What is going on here? Why was the screen white? There's a shower. There's nothing in the shower. No bottles of sober shampoo. No shower had no faucet. It's an empty box. What's in the linen closet? The closet is completely empty. The walls are a strange, untextured white. What is going on here? What the hell? You head back to the den. All right. The clock chimes. Okay. Grandfather clock chimes the hour as Andrew suddenly looks up from the 64. The 64? It's time, he says. Stop being weird. Someone knocks at the front door. Jesus. It's him, says Andrew, standing up. I should go let him in. Right. As he leaves the den, you realize you could follow, but part of you really feels like being scarce for a bit. Yeah. Where to go? This passage does not exist. Kitchen. You run down the hall into the bathroom and lock the door behind you. Or at least this could have been a bathroom. Mm -hmm. The walls are bare and white. There's no sink or toilet, but there's some odd featureless white boxes that could stand for a shower or a linen closet. A linen closet. You crawl into the plain white box that's about the size of a linen closet and close it behind you. From the front of the house, you can hear the front door slam open. Slam open. After that, you don't hear anything except bad expression. Child. The rain, no, not just the rain, the voice in the back of your head, like bad expression, I am coming for you, child. Like something <laughs> you can't even begin to describe. Jesus. Though you lock the door behind you, you can hear it open easily. Open easily? Something. Awesome. You're not exactly sure how you know something's out there because you don't exactly. Bad expression, oh, child! You hear it moving. But you don't know, you know it's there. You don't have to stop. Bad expression. Poor, poor child! Right outside your hiding spot. It opens the door, even though you immediately realize it doesn't have any hands. Uh, stop. What? Oh, child. I'm so hungry, child. You cannot run, child. Hello, child. No wars, child. Hello, child. Cease. I have friends for you, child. Friends with you. It's the dark. Play forever. Oops. Oh. Oh. That's the uncle that works for Nintendo. That was one of five endings. 
Holy shit. That was one of five endings. What? I didn't even get the option um, to talk about Mew in the game that I did. What? Go look through the options. The options? So you can click them, they're locked, but you can click them to see how you potentially... Just play games, take it easy, nothing to get freaked out over, meet your guests at the door. Okay. That's the one I got. Okay. What's this? It's definitely weird here. Do you decide you don't feel like spending the night? Call your mom and ask me to take it home. Be sure you have enough time for your ride to show up. I think she takes three hours. So if you called her when you first... Yeah, had the option. Had the option, yeah. she would have made it and you would have been fine. That's fucking freaky. Some things you remember don't match what you see. Learn what you can. Ask questions. Have a serious talk. Don't be mean, but get out of there. <sighs> Some things, you, yeah, right? Some uh. things you remember don't match what you see. Get out of there. And then make what might be the worst decision ever. What? That's really fucking freaky. This dude. game is fantastic. Like you, you had heard me playing it, and it was just noise. Yeah. And I got, I got to that part yeah. where I just started making noise. This is a very good game. Oh, it, it's, it's really well written. It's it's really well written. It's very creepy. Huh. It, it, it's it's very good. And each of the each of the endings, I went back and, and played a couple of them. Each of the endings is just fantastic. Well, you know what they say, guys. I don't know what they say, guys. They say, thanks for watching. Bye!